Welcome to the OCI Grails QuickCast, bite-sized portions of Grails productivity tips to help maximize developer productivity with the framework. Grails QuickCasts are brought to you by OCI, the home of the core Grails development team and your source for professional support, project work, and training around the Grails framework. Grails QuickCasts are distributed in partnership with DZone, who help build knowledge and relationships to maximize your success. Hello, my name is Sergio Delamo, and I am a member of the Grails OCI team. In this recording, I wanted to uh, talk about replacing a minute one collection uh, with another one. So let me show the example uh, application that we have. So one of my favorite books is Demon by Daniel Suarez. Yeah, I wanted to show in a great application, a typical use case. Uh, we have uh, one domain class uh, to map the book. And then for each of the books, we have uh, many of these reviews. Uh, basically are the, the quote and an author. Uh, I have created another uh, greatest domain class with uh, those two fields, author and quote. It's a, a many to one. So a book can have many reviews uh, while a review belongs to a book. I have disabled the version uh, field in both of them. So I have set version false in both uh, domain classes. I have um, created a, a GORM data service uh, to save books uh, and to find books and a review data service to um, to save uh, a review, basically, uh, GORM data services uh, allow you to uh, create the uh, GORM operations uh, by defining an interface. So as you can see, I have here uh, three fields, uh, the quote, the author, and the book, uh, which are the properties of the domain class, and GORM data services will take care of, of, of that. Uh, in bootstrap.groovy, I basically inject both services. Uh, I create the book uh, by calling the government data service method save uh, that will return me an instance of a book. Uh, and then for uh, I create two uh, of those reviews, basically I call save, I supply uh, the quotes that I showed you in the in the website and and the book as the last parameter. Um, I have one controller called book controller. Um, this takes has two methods, basically the index, which when you supply a name, if the name, if you don't supply a name, we will return a 422. This is a, a Rails uh, application created with the REST API profile. So we are responding uh, JSON. Uh, we are using JSON views. Um, basically, I use the data service here again to fetch a book by the name. If the book is not found, I return 404, if it's found, I try to render with a JSON view. Um, the JSON view uses a template for uh, for uh, rendering the reviews. Um, usual stuff. Um, and then I have another method, called, another action in the controller called uh, update. I have a command object, the book update command, which um, takes a two instances, uh, two properties, sorry, the name of the book that I want to update and the reviews that I want uh, to replace with. A book review is a simple uh, Groovy Pogo uh, with quote and author. Um, the book takes the command object. If the command object is invalid, um, so as we take care of uh, instantiating the command object doing the data binding, uh, I'm calling the validate. So uh, by the time the command object arrives here, it has already been validated. So that means that if there are errors, the errors will be present here. If there are errors, I respond to a 422. And if there are not errors, I try to update the reviews. Um, if the book updates, if the book is not found, I will return a 404. If the book uh, has errors after being updated, I will return a 422. If not, I will render. Um, the book using the same JSON views as I used in the in the index action. Let me show you the update reviews. Um, so basically, the update review service is a, a naive attempt to update the reviews of the book. 
Um, and we will be improving this method while we uh, work in this quick cast. So I first uh, retrieve the book data service. If the book is not found, I return null. And then I have two methods, one method that I call clear reviews and another method that I call add reviews. In the clear reviews right now, what I do is I call a uh, book reviews dot clear. And in the add reviews, I basically uh, iterate the reviews that came in the command object. I, I instantiate uh, one new uh, domain class review uh, and I call add to reviews. Um, then I call save. Uh, if save uh, failed, I log an error and I return book. Uh, so if save failed, this book will contain errors and the controller will take care of um, responding accordingly. So let me uh, start the application. Let me exit presentation mode. So I have here on the bottom right corner, I have Po, which is a, a network a HTTP client for Mac OS. And here on the top, uh, I have Xrevel uh, profile in this application. So if I try to update um, the book, basically I'm doing a put request. Uh, I am uh, sending a, a list of reviews only of one item. So basically what I expect is the, the book right now has two reviews. I expect these two reviews to be removed from the database and be replaced by this one review. So if I call put here on the top, uh, I see that I am doing three database calls. Uh, I am fetching the book by the name I supplied. Then I am fetching the reviews. Uh, already you see here, this is not efficient. Um, this is happening because uh, here I'm loading the reviews lazily. Uh, we will improve uh, this right now. Uh, and then I am inserting a review. Uh, so another problem that is easy to spot is that uh, we are not uh, removing the reviews. So if I call, um, even if in the, in the answer already of the request, I see that uh, instead of retrieving uh, one uh, review and getting the three reviews. So this clear is not working. Uh, and this is not working because the, the orphan relationships are, um, are recreated by Hibernate. Um, so one solution to that problem will be um, to come here and, and set the, uh, the cascade uh, behavior of the reviews. So what I can do is I can come here and say cascade all delete orphan. Uh, this will, uh, when I do clear, uh, all the orphans uh, because of this cascade behavior will be removed. Um, and then the other improvement that I would like to do is instead of fetching the reviews lazily, uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to improve my uh, book data service. Uh, and I'm going to create a new method called book find uh, join reviews. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm going to use here the join annotation. Uh, and I'm going to say, uh, the fetch with a join the reviews. Uh, so the join uh, is defined here in Grace Gorm services join. Uh, I'm going to come here. Uh, I'm going to search for find book data service. And let me replace those with find in the controller too, because uh, I don't want to uh, do two databases calls in the, in the index method as well. And in the update review, I will uh, come here and do a find join reviews. Let me restart the application and let's see if uh, those improvements um, reduce. Uh, basically, we got rid of the of the extra uh, database call due to the lazy uh, loading. And if actually the deletes are in place and we are actually replacing the collections as we expected. OK. Let me uh, invoke update. So I have four databases calls. I am fetching the book.
book and reviews with a join now. And this is due to the change that we did in the, in the data service. We have to delete statements for the old reviews uh, because we call clear and we set the cascade uh, behavior and we are doing an insert. Uh, we are uh, getting uh, the correct uh, response in the in the put request and if we do a, a get, uh, we will get also the correct response and the get only does one uh, database query because we are using the the join uh, in the data service. Um, what if you didn't want to change the cascade behavior and you wanted to take care of uh, of replacing of doing the clear of the reviews uh, yourself? Let's just do that. Um, go to book, remove the cascade behavior that we just defined. Uh, we are going to go to the update review service. Um, here, um, we are going to try to do this uh, by hand. So we can say book reviews each. Um, this will be a review. And then we are going to get, um, we are going to call book remove from reviews, review. And then we can call review uh, delete. We are going to restart the application. This is going to fail, and you are going to see now why it's going to fail. So we are getting a, a Java util uh, concurrent modification exception. Uh, so the solution to this is um, we are going to generate a different list. So we are going to call here collect. Uh, and then we are, we are going to get rid of this exception. So let me restart the application. OK, let's do the update request again. So we have one, um, the same select with the join for getting the book. Then we have the insert. And then we have the two deletes somewhere here. So we have here the two deletes. So we are getting exactly the same behavior as we got when we changed the cascade uh, behavior. Uh, however, we can improve this, uh, so we can get rid of doing these uh, two queries and doing one query instead. So one way to do that will be uh, let's create a list here with the book, the review IDs that we want to delete. So instead of calling here delete, we are going to say um, IDs, review ID. And then here we are going to call review data service um, delete. And we are going to supply IDs. We need to create this method. So let's open the review data service. Uh, so we said this is going to be delete. It's going to take a list of serializable IDs. And here we can use one uh, feature of, of uh, GORM data services, which is uh, we can use uh, our syntax to uh, do our uh, our where clause in the in the delete operation. So we can say um, when ID is in IDs. So this will be a delete from review where ID in and the uh, ID list that we supply uh, separated by commas. Uh, let's try to restart the application and see if this works. OK, let me do the request again. OK, uh, we get only now three. Uh, database calls, which is what we wanted to achieve. So we are doing one for the insert. We are doing a delete. So basically delete from review where ID in this query. This is exactly what we just did with this um, uh, delete method in the data service. Uh, and then we have here the select with the join, um, which we achieved in the book uh, data service uh, with join. 
Um, as you can see, uh, this is more efficient because we are doing one uh, less database call. Uh, you saw that we basically achieved most of this functionality using uh, GORM data services. GORM data services is a um, really powerful addition to the GORM capabilities. Uh, be sure to explore them. So if you visit gorm.grace.org um, and visit the Hibernate, uh, the GORM for Hibernate implementation documentation, um, you can scroll to the GORM data services section and you will find a much better um, explanation than what I just uh, provided. Um, also, uh, make sure to read the cascade documentation in the in the Grails uh, documentation. So basically, if you go here in the right side of the documentation to database mapping, uh, you have here several of the options uh, available uh, for for mapping. Uh, one of them is cascade here. Uh, and, and yeah, the latest thing I wanted to tell you is um, make sure to visit guides.grails.org uh, to learn more tips about Grails and make sure to check uh, the training offering available. We are offering uh, uh, a lot of uh, free webinars um, and workshops in the upcoming months. Make sure to tune in and, and register for those. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good time. Thank you for watching this episode of the OCI Grails QuickCast. For more information on how OCI can help you with Grails or any of these other practice areas, visit OCIweb.com or contact us at info at OCIweb.com. Follow our Twitter accounts at Object Computing and at Grails Framework. Also, read regular updates on the OCI Grails team blog at grailsblog.ociweb.com.